Age is 12. Welcome back to the soda. Is it worth it? So they have someone got this cool material right here, and basically what this is is a foldable cycling bike. If you see the one that we got right here is from this brand right here. If you guys remember in the past, I actually reviewed another one from the same exact brand, but with this one a slightly different design. So first, I should open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. All right. So you guys first open up. This actually looks like inside. So the first thing I see inside is probably got the user manual, and then everything else right here is all the different parts and etc. So take all that out first. Alright, so once you guys take everything out, this one's included inside. Alright, so let's take off all the wrappers first and then we'll set it up to show you guys what it looks like. So the first part that we'll work on is this part here. So what you're gonna do is open up these two parts and put it onto the bottom. Alright, so once you guys take it out, you guys are gonna set this part in the bottom. So what I recommend is that you guys wanna flip it over when you guys do set it up. So for both of these, it's different. One of them has the wheels. So for the one that has the wheels, you have to put it right here. So you're gonna take all this out first. So you're gonna put this on right here. Same thing for the other one. All right. So once you guys finish that one, you have to do the same thing for our side here. And you probably want to use the tool that they provide you guys to tighten up. All right. So once you guys finish this part, you're gonna work on the other side right here. Alright, so that should be good. So let's bring this back up first. So once you guys finish setting up the bottom part, what you're gonna do next is work on the seat. So you're gonna take off this part right here. And you guys also wanna take the seat right here. So when you guys set up the seat, you guys wanna take out the tool right here to install it on top. So let's take this out first. So this should be a total of three screws and three of these little washers. And you wanna take out the tool right here to use that as well. And then for the last part, we'll use that later on. I'll show you guys how to use that. But all you're gonna do is put this right on top right here. And you guys wanna put the washer in each one. And you guys wanna put this part on top and screw it in for each one. All right, so once you guys set this part, you guys wanna put it right on top right here. You guys wanna use the accessory to actually screw it in to tighten up. So let's actually open it up to show you guys what I mean. So before you guys put this part on, you guys need to cut this part right here. And you guys wanna take this part out as well, all right? So once you guys cut that part open, you guys are going to insert this in. Let me actually turn around the other side so that way you can see what I'm doing on the other side. So once you guys put it inside, you guys want to adjust the part right here to what you guys want. So let's say you guys want to keep it right here. You guys are going to screw this part in. And then make sure it's tight. Once it's tight, then you guys are all set up this part. So once you guys finish setting up the seat, what you're going to do next is install the top part right here. So what you're going to do is take off these screws. And you guys want to take it off on both sides. So now we can install it on here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is put this inside right here. And then once you guys do that, you guys gonna screw it in. So this should be a total of four of them, two on this side and two on the other side. All right, so once you guys got that set up, what you're gonna do next is to plug the cable in the back. And also for this part on top right here, it does require two AAA batteries. So I'm gonna put this in the back. So the batteries that I'll be using is from the EBL brand. So let's put it inside first. So you guys wanna open up in the back right here. Once you guys open it, you're gonna put the batteries inside. All right, so once you guys got it in, you're gonna pull it back up. And it's all set up this part. So once you guys finish setting up the monitor, you guys gonna work on the feet or the leg option right here. So they probably got one for each leg, one for right and one for left. And on the side, you can see they labeled left and right, so that way you know which side is which. So what you're gonna do is open up this part right here, and you're gonna strap this part. Once you guys got that part in, then it's all set. So what you guys want to do with this part, you guys want to screw it into the side, left and right. So this is the right side, so what you guys want to do is screw it in just like this. Just keep turning it. Turn it as far as you guys can until you guys can't do it anymore. Then you guys want to use this tool. Alright, so now we're going to use the tool. Alright, so we're done with this part. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. Alright, and then for the last part, you guys want to take off this part right here. And basically what this part is for is so that way you can put it right here. So when you guys pull it up, you guys can lock it in place. So that way the pot is foldable, which is really cool. So what I'm gonna do right now is to take off the wrapper first and we'll show you guys how to use it. Alright, so once you guys take off the wrapper, 
This is what the pot looks like once you guys fully set it up. So very similar to the other one that I tested in the past, where the pot is actually foldable. So I'm just gonna open it up, get them pull this part here, and then open it up, and that will lock it in place. So once you guys fully set the pot up, this is what the pot looks like. So obviously right here, you do have the seat option that's adjustable, so you can raise it up or raise it down by adjusting this part right here. And right here, we do have the tension or resistant option. So if you guys turn it right, it'll be more resistant. But if you guys turn it left, there's less resistant, and that way it should make it a lot easier for you guys to use it. And obviously in the bottom, we do have the pedals where you have to put your feet to actually pedal on. Top part, we do have the handle option, and both sides, they do have the heart rate monitor. So when you guys put your hand on here, it can monitor like your heart rate, etc. But I'm just bring the camera over to show you guys what the top part looks like right here. So when you guys look at the top part of the handlebar right here, they do have like a non-slip pad right here. So that way you can put your phone. So make sure you guys what I mean. So let's say if you guys put your phone like this, you definitely have the option to put it like that. Or if you guys want to tilt it sideways, you guys have that option as well. So that way you can watch a movie, watch videos, or do whatever you guys want while you guys are working out. And right here we do have the display screen, a mode button, a snap button, and reset button. So let's press it. You can see how it turns on. So when you guys first get the product, you do want to peel this part out. So that way you get a better view of the product when you guys use it. So when you press the remote button, there's a lot of different options that shows on here. It's kind of hard for me to show you guys the actual screen, but when you guys press it, it does change different stuff on here. So there's speed, mile per hour, and distance. And then there's mile per hour ODO. And there's calories. And there's heart rate. And there's scan. And then once you guys start using it, if you guys want to reset it, you guys can press and reset. And that will reset everything that's on here. So this is what the top part looks like. And right here, the resistance that I showed you guys earlier. And when you guys feel the cushion on the seat, it definitely feels pretty nice. It actually feels really comfortable when you guys squeeze on it. So that will get that all the comfort and support when you guys sit on here. But you see right here, they tell you guys what is actually shown on the actual screen that I showed you guys earlier. So show you guys speed, time, distance, heart rate, and calories. And like I mentioned, for the pot, it actually has the wheels on the bottom. So if you guys want to move it around, you guys can definitely do that on here. So when you guys do move it, you guys want to make sure this part right here is locked in first. So push it back up, and then lock it in. Once you guys have it locked in, then you start moving it. So that's actually really cool. So that way you can bring it from one room to another. And having that foldable design that's on here is actually really convenient as well. So that way you can save a lot of space. Especially if you guys are living somewhere where it's really cramped and there's not a lot of space. So we have to open it back up. If you guys notice on the bottom part right here, they have this little bar. They have to make sure it locks in like this. Once it's locked in, then you start using it. If that part is not locked in correctly on the bottom, you don't want to start using it because it might be dangerous. But once you guys have it in, you guys to lock it back in. Then it's all set to start using it. All right, so let's hop on and test it out to see how it works. So you're gonna put your feet right here. And you do have the option to adjust the leg part right here if it's too tight or too loose. But this for this test, I want to show you guys what it actually looks like when you guys do use it. So once you guys start pedaling, it will show you guys the results that's on here. So whether you're looking at speed, mileage, calories, or whatever, it definitely does work. And you do have the option to adjust the seat on here to make it higher or lower based on your own preference, like I mentioned. But when you guys actually use a bike, you guys can hold right here, hold right here, or hold right here. If you guys do hold the slide right here, it actually show you guys the heart rate I mentioned. And then if you guys want to adjust the resistance, you guys adjust the resistance based on your own preference. So when you guys turn it down, you can see how fast it can go. But when you guys bring it back up, there's a lot of resistance that's on here. And when you guys use the resistance that's on here, it's actually not that strong and not that tight. Compared to your normal indoor cycling bike, there's a lot more tension or resistance that's on there. For this one, there's a lot less, but there's definitely enough to give you guys that resistance for a good workout. So this is what the pot looks like when you guys fully set it up. You can see it definitely does work. But now to come boxing and test and butter, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of one these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality foldable indoor cycling bike that has the same design that's on here. And especially if I compare this one to the previous version that I tested, there's actually a better design that's on here because it was not the pad right here where you have to put your phone. And the cushion that's on here actually feels a lot better than that one as well. But one thing that I do notice for sure is the resistance that's on here is actually weaker than the other one. But if you guys don't mind that issue, then it's completely fine. So if you guys want everything that I mentioned right here for this bike, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually doing it. 
So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.